So the Council of Europe is, the geographical Europe is 50 countries. 47 countries are members, so three are non-members. That's, uh, that's Belarus because of the uh, uh, death penalty. It's the Kosovo because of the statute which is not recognized by everybody. And it's the Vatican. The Vatican is not a, a real, well, it's not a democracy. But all those 47 members, uh, those 47 countries are members representing 820 uh, million inhabitants. Now, I uh, had the privilege of being the president of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. In the Parliamentary Assembly, there are national parliamentarians of those 47 uh, member uh, states, and I represented my country, uh, Luxembourg, and uh, I was uh, elected as a president. And it's uh, a one year term which can be renewed just once. So that's why I stayed for two years. And that was 2014 and 2015. But does the uh, recent withdrawal or um, lack of enthusiasm by, by Russia, but also some other member states for the values of human rights, does this surprise you? Um, well, it doesn't really surprise me but it worries me because it is not about the country, it's about the protection of the citizens of those uh, 47 member states where every citizen must have the guarantee to have the fundamental freedoms, to have freedom of expression, freedom of the media, freedom of association. And the Council of Europe uh, is really are uh, the organization which guarantees those fundamental freedoms. Now we have to continue to cooperate in order to preserve those fundamental freedoms for all the citizens uh, of uh, Europe. But how far do you think uh, a compromise or cooperation with countries who do not keep up to the values of the Council of Europe could go on? Well, we took uh, sanctions against uh, the uh, delegation of uh, Russia after the annexation of Crimea, because that's a clear violation of, uh, of uh, international uh, law and uh, that's unacceptable. But we didn't uh, exclude them from the Parliamentary Assembly, we suspended their voting rights. And then the uh, Russian delegation decided by themselves to leave and even not to submit credentials uh, later on. So they are no longer members for the time uh, being of the uh, Parliamentary Assembly, but that's their own decision. That was not the decision of the Parliamentary Assembly in 2014. Are the contemporary leaders of the Western members of the Council of Europe and the members of the EU, are they ready, are they willing to stand for the values of human rights and democracy today? Of course, everybody is ready to do so, and not only the Western. I don't want this distinction between Western countries and Eastern or Southeastern countries or newer countries and older countries. All those countries, they accepted and ratified the Convention on Human Rights. So we are one unity, and there is no, you know, some, sometimes I hear um, I uh, hear speeches where they say, well, the Western values and the traditional values. We have the same values, and those are enshrined in the Convention on Human, uh, on human Rights. And every, uh, every government, every parliament has to respect it. Well, Bulgaria, the country where Blue Link is based, recently dealt a great blow to one of the Council of Europe's conventions, the Istanbul Convention, which was proclaimed unconstitutional in Bulgaria, preventing it from being ratified by the EU in this. And the reason for this decision was a great level of manipulation in the country, saying that gender is an alien, hostile concept. So it seems countries like Bulgaria are now willing to withdraw from certain basic rights. What would be the response to this by the international entities? Well, the international entities, of course, have to react because the Istanbul Convention is uh, to protect, especially women, but not only women, from uh, domestic violence. And that is about the Istanbul Convention. 
to make prevention and then to protect also because women are mostly uh, the, uh, the victims of uh, domestic violence but also children. So you have to protect them. And if a country like Bulgaria is not protecting its own citizens, uh, that is more than uh, appalling. And I regret really that decision which was taken under, you know, it's, it's the same like LGBTI uh, rights. Then they say, well, there is the traditional family. Well, what is a traditional family? But if uh, two men or two, uh, two, two women fall in love with each other, why can't they have the same rights like all the others? They are not harming anybody. And that we have to keep that in mind that we, despite all our differences, and we have differences, unfortunately, we have differences. We are all equal and we have to be considered as being on, uh, on equal footing.